Okay. Thank you, Miss Doover. Do by Robin Pulver. So did I the first time I read it, but you'll get it at the end. Oh, I it <laughs> when someone who lives far away sends you a present, a thank you note is the polite way to show your gratitude. Use the form for a friendly letter. Date, salutation, body, closing, and signature. All right, to Great Aunt Gertie. I'm a fast writer. I'll be done in a flash. Your first... <clears throat> this is kind of hard to hold up. Your first sentence should thank the giver for the present. You'll probably have to write more than one draft. Not me. Dear Great Aunt Gertie, thank you for the present. Love, Jack. Done. Make sure your first sentence says what the present is. This do-over do must think Great Aunt Gertie is too old to remember what she sent to me. Use at least one nice word to describe how you feel about the gift. Dear Great Aunt Gertie, thank you for the useful gift. It's my own personal paper in case you forgot. It's not my favorite gift, but I have used it a lot. Just ask my mom. Love, Jack. P.S. My mom is your niece, just in case you forgot. Just like me. There's him using the stationery. That's a good start, Jack, but leave out the parts about forgetting. And don't say it's not your favorite gift. Consider Great Aunt Gertie's feelings. Now please use a word for paper that's more specific. Say what kind of paper it is. Name it. Dear Great Aunt Gertie, thank you for the useful paper. Mum calls it stationery, but I don't think it needs a name because it already has my name printed on every piece. That's how Mr. Wilson figured out where the wadded up paper balls and paper airplanes in his yard come from. Love, Jack. P.S. Fetching isn't Pudley's best trick. Stationary. Here's how you spell it. S-T-A-T-I-O-N-E-R-Y. Jack, you chose the perfect word to describe it. Your own personal stationery is useful for writing thank you notes. That's not what I meant by useful. Can I just fix the spelling on this draft? For the sake of Great Aunt Gertie's feelings, leave out the P.S. and the part about your neighbor. Then say why the stationery is such a useful gift. Another draft, please, Jack. But Mom said she hopes Great Aunt Gertie never finds out how I used it. Poor Jack. I'm glad I'm not Jack. Class, a thank you note should make the giver feel happy. Even if you don't especially like a gift, you can still say something nice like, it has a place of honor in my home, or it will always remind me of you. I implore you to use your best manners. Miss Duver, what does implore mean? Implore means beg. I'm begging you to use good manners. And don't forget to use a detail or two to describe the gift. Details? Hmm. Puppy, my name white, yellow. Dear Great Aunt Gertie, thank you for the useful puppy stationery. Even though it has my name on it, the gift reminds me of you. That's because it's great. Get it? Great! Most of the stationery is white, but some turned yellow in its place of honor in our home. Love, Jack. <laughs> oh, wait. oh, I get it! What's this gift? Good for you, Jack. You're making progress. The stationery must be cute with puppies on it. Pudley is cute, but he's only one puppy, and he's not on the stationery all the time. Now explain to Great Aunt Gertie a bit more about the place of honor so she can picture it in her mind. But Mom said, Don't feel bad. All writers, even famous ones, revise a lot. You mean another draft? 
Why is she picking on me? My hand hurts. <laughs> Class, don't be afraid to make mistakes in order to accomplish your goal. Search for the right words to express what you mean. That is what revising is all about. What's express? Express means to put your thoughts into words. What's accomplish? Accomplish means to successfully finish or complete. Dear Great Aunt Gertie, thank you for the stationery with my name on it. It will always remind me of you because it's great. Your gift was useful for the whole family, especially when Mom asked me to put down papers fast. He can't talk with words, but Pudley chose your gift as a place of honor to express his thanks. Pudley made mistakes in other places before he accomplished his goal. Love, Jack. <laughs> Wow! Two long paragraphs. This is the best thing I've ever written. I used big, important words. Revising works. Great Aunt Gertie will probably frame this. Oh. Huh. Jack, I, um... I know. It's unbelievable, right? It's all because of those drafts. It's terrific, right? It's surprising. I admire your hard work, Jack, but it would be better not to mention Pudley at all. Leave out the best part? But Miss Doover asked me to explain the place of honor, even though Mom didn't want Great Aunt Gertie to know. Class, the final sentence in a thank you note should say something nice about the giver. Dear Great Aunt Gertie, thank you for the useful stationery. It had a place of honor in our home when it helped a certain puppy who shall remain nameless, accomplish a lot. You are a great aunt, and I must take after you because Mum says I am your great nephew. Love, Jack. Class, finish up your final drafts and then hand them in. I regret that I couldn't spend more time with each one of you. What's regret mean? When you regret something, you're sorry about it. Miss Doover, Doover looks discouraged and down in the dumps. Hmm. She's Dear Cousin Eli, thank you for the unbelievable Hanukkah present. It's unbelievable that you sent me another dreidel. I implore you not to send me a dreidel next year. You are my favorite cousin, but no more dreidels. Love, Judy. Dear Uncle Joe, thank you for the magic kit. I regret that it did not make my brother disappear. I can't express how much I hope you will send me a better magic kick next year so that I can accomplish my goal. Dad says you were a bratty brother, but I bet you were nicer than Tommy. Love, Dot. <laughs> Dear Grandma, thank you for the terrific baseball bat. It will always remind me of you. That's because on my favorite TV show, everybody calls the Grandma the old bat. <laughs> Love, PJ. Dear Mrs. Doover, thank you for making me do things over and over again. You don't give up on me. You will always have a place of honor in my classroom. I regret that you won't be my teacher next year because I am your best student. Maybe you are related to me and Great Aunt Gertie because you are a great teacher. Love, Jack. P.S. Hey! I figured out why your name is Miss Doover. The end. <laughs>